Well, you are in the HSN vault. It is time for a full hour of Coin Collector. We're glad that you're going to be joining us and stay tuned because you're going to see some of the rarest coins that likely you've ever had a chance to own. Mike Mizak is joining us. He's going to be with us this, the entire hour. And we also have a lot of variety too. So definitely stay with us. And we're going to get it started right now. Um, this is the 2016 um, Proof 70 three-piece 24 karat gold centennial coin set. Um, this is a thing of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you have to understand, this is a pretty simple, simple thing. We're just going to do a couple minutes here. Uh, and the reason is, is last year to commemorate the centennial of these three coins. They All three of these coins were first made 100 years ago. They did the Mercury Dime, the Standing Liberty Quarter, and the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. They did them all in solid 24 karat gold. Mm -hmm. This was the three-piece set, incredibly popular. We've sold out all the individual editions, I believe. Uh, I might have a few of these individually set, but I only have six of the set, which is why only two minutes here uh, remaining. We had basically kind of one presentation on this and had sold them through, sold them out. And as you can see here, I have a half dozen sets. Mm -hmm. So this is an actual Walking Liberty half dollar, which was last made in 1947. They now made another one in 2016 mm -hmm. in solid 24 karat gold. They did a Standing Liberty quarter, last made in 1932. Mm -hmm. They did it again in 2016 in solid 24 karat gold. They did a Mercury Dime, last made 1945. And now, of course, made again in 2016. This is the rarest Mercury dime ever made by the United States government and the only one done in solid 24 karat gold. All graded absolutely perfect. Mint State 70. I've got the beautiful presentation box that you see right here. Mm, it is beautiful. absolutely positively spectacular. Yeah. All three of them done in solid 24 karat gold. I have only a half dozen sets uh, right. is all that's available. That's why we just did a real quick quick and short presentation. It's going to be, this is it. You can see uh, less than a minute left to go. And we wanted to start off with this because I promised you, you're going to have a chance to get some really amazing sets and coins in this hour. And why not start off with gold? Why not do it? It does come along with that presentation box, which also comes along with a lock mm -hmm. and key. Right. So it can stay under lock and key. You can still, um, display them and appreciate them, but you know that they're going to be safe once you get, get them home. Look at this. Oh, Isn't that wow. spectacular? And that. I mean, this is a solid beveled glass top. That's beautiful. Okay, all done in the solid red oak. And let me put the key in it for you so that you can see it there. Absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Isn't that, that spectacular? Only six of those to go around. Absolutely. I, and I do recognize it's not going to be for everybody. If you are a coin collector and you see the trio and you're saying, I want, I want it all, now is going to be your time to do it. It's 534089. That is the number to get this set home. And I, we do, we will move on. That was just going to be a quick presentation. Now, coming up, we have the Donald Trump 45th president, 22 karat gold plated, $2 bills. And you can get one, you can get a pack of five, you can get a pack of 10, completely up to you, how many you want. Maybe it's just gonna be one for a collectible. Maybe it's a collectible that you wanna get a few of them to share. And the first time we've done our collectible $2 notes with 22 karat gold has been embossed on the note itself. That's an actual United States $2 bill with all of the 22 karat gold highlights. Wow. We've never done that before, I think a particularly appropriate yes. for uh, President-elect Trump. All right, that one's coming up, all right? If you don't want to wait for us, though, you can actually go ahead and start ordering there. But we have two very special pieces. We're going to start off with the first one, and this is will truly be a rare piece in your collection. Mike, I'm going to let you jump in and get this going. Yeah, I got I, I, I to gotta tell you, this is this is a 1999 coin. I know it says Martha Washington 1759. <laughs> the N&N &N pattern, and I'll explain what the N&N &N means here in a minute. This is, uh, they consider this originally an R7 variety. I believe it's actually going to be an R4. R7 means less than six in existence. Okay. I know there's more than six in existence, but there's less than, I think, 25 in existence of these. What they did is they had to check the composition of the Sacagawea golden dollar that they were about to start making in 2000. And so to do that, they had to make several different patterns of the composition. And they did this by striking this 
with Martha Wash, that's Mount Vernon on the reverse, wow. if you'll notice. Isn't that spectacular? Yes. And so you're going to have that. They struck this coin to test the composition. That's what this is. This is the Judd, uh, it's a 2185 is the Judd number. They, 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 they uh, determine all the different patterns ever made by the United States government, where they strike a coin just kind of testing to see whether it can be a coin. Okay. And this is the composition of this particular coin, which is 77% copper, 20% zinc, and 3% nickel. Okay, so they did that one. I'm gonna show you one here in a minute that's not, and it's N and N because they just very crudely, if you can see, just took dots mm -hmm. and just kind of put them on the coin because it's a test coin, it's a pattern coin. Yeah. There's, it's it's an, an, not, an error is kind of the wrong word for this. There is, the United States government has got a significant and, uh, and long history of making pattern coins. Mm -hmm. In other words, making a coin to test either the design of a coin, a comp position of a coin, like they have Morgan dollars that they made in copper. They have coins they made in aluminum back in those days, and it's something that I tend uh, uh, to collect. And many of those old patterns run into the tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars wow. that you can do this. This is the modern pattern that they use, is they put Martha Washington, put the 1757 date on there, mm -hmm. but this is a 1999 coin that was testing the pattern for the Sacagawea Golden Dollar. Now, they weren't testing the pattern in this particular one. That's why they put Martha Washington. It's called a pattern coin because they were testing something. In this instance, they were testing the final composition. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's this test coin that comes right from the United States government. Now, that does not make that any less of a coin. You, uh, I've seen this only come to sale one other time in the past. Wow. They had uh, a couple of these at auction. And as you can see right there, it says Mount Verdon. Isn't that incredible? On the reverse of this actual United States coin. This makes this, in essence, the rarest modern issue coin made by the United States government probably in the last hundred years or so exactly. with less than three dozen of these. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the only thing rarer than this would be some of the, uh, uh, what they call mules. They, yeah. they struck one of these accidentally on a quarter planche, and it sold for like 100 grand or something oh like that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and so you have this. So this one is the non-manganese version. That's not what they ended up going with. So this composition, they tested this, and then what they do is they look to see if it uh, if it tarnishes, how it strikes. That's why they did all this uh, and all of those kind of interesting things. And so they, they put this out there. They ended up not using this composition. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. This was 7723. They ended up not using this composition of this this coin, and as you can see, isn't that crazy? And they put Virginia on the coin, uh, uh, kind of an original Virginia coin, 1759. Isn't that spectacular with the Martha Washington on there? Uh, and so this is something, and you would ask me before the show, how many times have we sold pattern coins? Mm -hmm. To my recollection, this might be the first time, if it's not, it's the second time. Maybe 10 or almost 15 years ago, I brought in a schoolgirl Morgan pattern. Yeah. It would have been 30 or 40 or $50,000, something like that, oh, somewhere right gosh. around in there. Uh, uh, I would have had that coin. But if it wasn't, if I didn't, and maybe I didn't, I, yeah. I, I could be remembering that, misremembering that. If not, this would be only the second, the first pattern coin that I ever yeah. brought out here. In and the reason years. is, is because they are so phenomenally, incredibly rare. They are almost never offered for sale. For us to have a few of these to sell is an absolutely, uh, uh, a virtually unique event. There's no other place that I know of that you can, in essence, go and buy these coins. There was one or two sold at auction for more money than $26.99, mm -hmm. I can promise you that. When you're looking at a coin with a population of Oh, uh, you know, we're probably looking at, maybe there might be two dozen of these coins in existence, yeah, roughly, yeah. Uh, is what there is. So when we talk about rare mintages, I mean, coins yeah. like the 1995W, American uh, uh, 10th Anniversary Silver Eagle, mm -hmm. that coin in high grade is ten dollars or $15,000. They made 31,000 of those. This oh. coin is literally a 1,000 times rarer than that oh, coin. My so if you look at any coin of any significant rarity, yeah. uh, uh, that the United States government has made, none of them match this rarity, and they would all be more than the $2,699.95. I love the fact that this one is the composition that they didn't use. 
I love that little, uh, and, and, and the, the, the N, N, and N means non-manganese. Okay. Okay, so there's no manganese in this particular one that you have there. And they just kind of lettered that on there because it was a test. And when they do these, these rarely get out and made available. These rarely get into, in essence, circulation. That's right. Uh, where they're even available in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is I've got a literal handful of these. Yeah. And Min State 65 certified. NGC. Uh, the the uh, J2185 uh, there refers to the Judd number. Okay. There's a catalog called the Judd catalog that catalogs all of the United States patterns okay. and then ranks them by rarity. It's an R scale from R1 to R9 basically. Okay. R9 means it's unique. In other words, there's one there's coin and one coin only. Okay. And then R8. This was rated in Judd and R7, which is, like I said, fewer than a oh dozen. Goodness. I know that there's a few more than that. Okay. So I think they will eventually make that adjustment in the Judd catalog to make this an R6 or maybe even a high R5 because okay. they rate them low R5, medium R5, high okay. R5s. Right. And I think this will probably be a, 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 a low R5 or a high R6 okay. a, a, at the end of the day in, in terms of rarity, Absolutely. in terms of collectability, in terms of desirability. I'm expecting this to be the one and only time I'll be able to offer for this. Once again, this is a United States government issue coin. They were just uh, uh, they were just testing this. And for you to be able to have an opportunity to own this phenomenal piece of mint history yes. is something that uh, I I'm really excited to be able to bring this and offer this to anybody that's out there. Uh, there's only been a couple of these offered at auction, and like I said, $2,699 wouldn't have bought it mm -hmm. at that auction. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the fact that I have this coin, I just bought it at the big uh, uh, Florida United Numismatist show mm -hmm. that was down in Florida, uh, obviously, and we bought, the guy had a few of these, and I said, yeah, I'll just take them all. T yeah. Uh, very cool, because at the end of the day, if I don't sell the handful that I have, I'm right. very happy to put them in my collection, because that's is, what I collect is pattern coins. And many times when Mike says, I'll take them all, he's literally backing up a semi-truck to take them all. He didn't have to do that this time, because there are so few of them to begin with. Mm -hmm. Now, we wanted to share this with you. It is it's the first time that you've seen this on air. Uh, we don't have pattern coins on air very often. Like we said, if there was another one, it was probably 15 years ago. This is your time to do it. We um, wanted to show it to you early and share another great pattern coin so that you can see the difference. Now, the we'll pattern's the same, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, there's a couple of these. But if you'll notice that the uh, it's now 73% copper, 24% zinc, 2% nickel, and 1% manganese. Okay. That keeps it from... And if you even look at them, you can see the difference yeah. in the composition. Yeah. This is a little brighter of a coin. I'm going to take okay. this. So this is the one that's the regular pattern coin. And these were the patterns, the pre-coins for the Sacagawea golden dollars. So in other words, they use these to test. And I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this one over prequel. so you can see. It, so it's, yeah, it's the prequel. <laughs> it, it is about is in essence what it is for this, is they struck these before they struck the Sacagawea to test the composition, and this was the final composition that they used, I think, right there. I believe they did that composition is what they ended up with. Wow. They ended up putting manganese in the coin. Okay. I don't think there's any doubt about that. So the rarity of this is is virtually unprecedented in, in anything that I've ever offered here. I mean, oftentimes if I have rarity of 100,000 coins or 200,000 coins or there's 500,000 coins that were made. Those are tremendously rare coins. Mm -hmm. When I'm talking about coins where there's like two dozen in existence, okay? When we're talking about coins where there's 25 of in existence, you have the opportunity here to literally own what I would consider to be a museum piece. Mm -hmm. So these are, the, normally to see a coin like this, you would have to go to the Smithsonian, for instance, yeah. in Washington, D.C. I mean, that's the only way, your only opportunity to get coins of this rarity and of this magnitude, to go to some sort of a museum. To be able to own these and put these into your collection, I think is such an incredibly and phenomenally unique opportunity 
that uh, uh, comes along, like I said, here once every 10 or 15 years mm -hmm. is all that you have the opportunity to do. And if you're going, I don't recognize the coin, it's because in all honesty, until I saw these uh, last week, and I've not seen th anything like this in quite some time. I'm unaware of any modern issue pattern coins from the United States government. It used to be common, you know, before the age of computers and the internet, they'd have to strike coins to see how they look. Yeah. They'd have to strike them in different metals. But I mean, you know, they don't do patterns much anymore. If you make an eagle, by law, it has to be 99995 fine silver. Right. So there's no reason to strike a pattern. Right. The, the patterns are, are put up on the computer and then they're picked beforehand. Mm -hmm. And then they just make the coin and then do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, to get a pattern coin is very unique and it was only because of the compositional uh, a difference, the compositional pattern that they're looking for to be able to do these particular coins. Other than that, there's absolutely no need for pattern coins anymore. These could well be the last and final pattern coins that the United States government may ever make. I don't know what other kind of new coin that they're yeah. going to do that they need to test the composition. To, right. They're not going to test the actual strike of the coin yeah. uh, anymore because that can be done quite easily, you know, from a, a you know, uh, in other ways, particularly mm -hmm. with computers and such now. So tremendous, tremendous opportunity. So we have two coins here, okay, uh, in Mint State 65. Oops, let me put these here. We have the one, and it's basically two different compositions. Mm -hmm. So if you're a pattern collector, you literally are going to need to collect both of these because you need this variety right here, yeah. uh, the N and N, which means no manganese. See, this has no manganese. This one has a little more nickel. This one has a little manganese. And yeah. as you can see, it's a little brighter of a coin. Yeah. You can see that this one has tarnished or will tarnish a little bit, and that's the lack that's, of manganese that's right. in the coin and, itself. And that's so, why yeah. there was a need to test the uh, to test the composition. And then they, it's like they a test struck batch. them and let them yeah. sit around for a while, see, see if happens. they spotted, see what happens, and then. This is the end result for a couple of dozen of these coins is all that's in existence. So let me share with you. The item number that you see right now on the screen is for the one with the manganese. Right. Uh, the one that you see right here, same item number, except instead of 047, it's 042. Okay, okay. Very good. So we're showing you them side by side so that you can see all of the detail there because that, I mean, this is, this is what this makes is, it this interesting. Is, this is different. literally numismatic in American history. Yeah, absolutely. That you're going to see right here. You and just these, don't have that opportunity. This is the coin collector for the coin collectors. There are levels of, you know, coin collectors. You know, some of us are more casual. Some of us are more serious. This is when you, these are the kind of things that you, you look for, you live mm -hmm. for. Um, the, it, it's that treasure that you're looking for. Um, I know we do need to wrap this up, but stay on the phone for yours, or you can go to hsn.com to get it, and we'll remind you of those as we do move throughout the show. Also, I wanted to shift gears just a little bit while we uh, uh, pull out some more coins that we want to share with you. Um, join us live from San Francisco at Benefit's Pink Palace headquarters, because we've got a, an exclusive online event that's going on today. Annie and Maggie will be sharing their beauty resolutions and tips and exclusive kits and deals. This all happens today at noon Eastern, which is 9 a.m. on the West Coast. And you can it's all on hsn.com. Just go to hsn.com and search keyword benefit. All right, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, we have more to share with you coming up. Definitely stay with us and uh, check out this quick spotlight. HSN and Lifetime introduce a very special at-home show inspired by Lifetime's new movie, Beaches. Revisit the 1988 movie in this remake starring Adina Menzel and Nia Long. At Home brings you beautiful home designs just like the setting of the beach house in the movie. Watch At Home today at 9 a.m. and catch the new movie on Lifetime Saturday at 8 p.m. Search Beaches on hsn.com for the whole collection. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day, on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. 
they determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Collectors only once buy kings and the wealthy, and you were saying it's like. Well, the kings portraits. were just collecting family portraits. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was the original. Hey, that was Insta dad, right? That was the original. Yeah, Facebook. put a couple of those away. Here. <laughs> Um, we are going to move on. We have, and we gave you a little sneak peek of this earlier. This is the Donald Trump 45th president, 22 karat gold plated $2 bill. And it comes to you in this great packaging with all the detail and history here. Now, what you're choosing today is you can get one for yourself. If you want to share them, there is a five pack and a 10 pack. So you just decide how many you would like. Right, and, and let me explain to you what this is. This has been, uh, uh, we've sold this only one, we've only had this on the air one other time before. It is probably one of the single most popular things we've been selling coin-wise and currency-wise on, on hsn.com okay. uh, that we have. We get orders for hundreds of these almost every day. Because what we've done is we've taken a $2 bill. This is the United States regulation legal tender $2 bill. That's the famous John Trumbull painting and the signing of the Declaration of Independence which hangs in the Yale University Library. And we took that and then on the obverse of that, we used our patented colorization process to put in uh, President-elect Trump. Uh, he'll be president within less than 24 hours. Yeah, by now. the next time you, uh, there you go, next by show. The next time, my next show, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he'll be president, 45th president of the United States. Mm -hmm. But then we've done something that we've never done before. We then highlighted the entire bill in 22 karat gold. Mm -hmm. and that's right on the, so this is all actual 22 karat gold. Mm -hmm. We've never done that before. We've never really had the technology before, and I think it's a particularly apropos for the president elect. Yeah. Uh, with the 22 karat gold. And he lives uh, in his uh, gilded palace. That's right, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if you looked at his, his, where he lives in Trump Tower, I mean, the, the place is, is layered with 22 and 24 karat gold. So, like I said, I think uh, particularly appropriate. The other thing that I absolutely uh, love with this is the fact that each note, because it is an actual United States $2 bill, is that we actually have each note has got its own serial number. Mm -hmm. So it is literally unique. Mm -hmm. So, when you buy five, you'll get five different serial numbers because those are the actual serial numbers of the $2 bill right. that you're going to have on there. So you buy one, you buy five, you buy 10. Obviously, the five and 10 packs are the number one sellers. Mm -hmm. Well, it shows I've sold like 11, it's actually 100. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm yeah. saying is, is what it comes down to uh, uh, with this. And once again, 45th president of the United States, and I want to, and I got to tilt it, and it's kind of funny because I have, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you what, why don't you hold that? Okay. Tell you what I'll do is I'll just take this one out. That way I don't have the glare. Okay. So we can really get a look at the at the 24 karat gold. And when it's out of the pack, you can really see. Oh yeah. Isn't that fantastic? That's what it looks like. Okay. I mean, of highest quality. Look at the 22 karat gold gilding that is on that. Plus our patented colorization process that's on the note anyway mm -hmm. makes it absolutely just a, a fantastic, stunning collectible. And look, regardless of your uh, political proclivities, that's of uh, uh, of no significance when it comes to a collectible mm -hmm. like this. Uh, uh, the, it is still celebrating. Uh, we we're getting a new president. Mm -hmm. The peaceful transition of power is a hallmark of American democracy. Interestingly enough, we still have some uh, President Obama things on HSN.com, yeah. which have been selling equally well with him leaving office. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it, uh, we have some of his inauguration stuff from four years ago mm -hmm. uh, that, interestingly enough, is selling as well. So you know, uh, uh, kind of commemorating that transition of power, right. if you will. Uh, uh, one, like I guess said the hallmark of American democracy. That's the best way to look at that right there. This is all 22 karat gold. That's 22 karat gold. This is 22 karat gold. That's 22 karat gold. 24.95 for a single uh, 99.95. So you literally discount 20% yeah. by buying five. Uh, uh, so it's like, uh, let me see. So yeah. if you buy five singles, it'd be $125. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, you know, five for four kind mm -hmm. of thing mm -hmm. is ultimately what it comes down to. Like I said, extra 
extraordinarily popular. And correct me if I'm wrong, that five pack, number one, or the 10 pack? I know it's not the single. Uh, uh, I'll get that information for you. Yeah, we'll so get literally that. hundreds and hundreds yeah. and hundreds of these being sold. <laughs> As the, we speak, the five, five pack, pack is one. the most popular, but also mm -hmm. keeping in mind um, the packs we have fewer of total to right. go around at this point. You know, mm -hmm. um, if need be, maybe Ooh. we could get more. I just noticed the flex pay too. The flex pay, that's three, right. Four flex on the ten pack, three flex on the five pack. That's exactly right. Nice. So if you do, it, maybe you did want a ten pack because you want to share it. Maybe um, you do want the five pack. Uh, many of you are calling in for the five pack. You can go ahead and pick that up. You can get flex pay on it, and look at the back. It's well, just and that this is a portrait. crisp, uncirculated. This is an original United States $2 bill, okay? So that's a $2 bill. We have then taken our patented colorization process, and we have colorized, there it is, President-elect Trump. There's the White House. Each bill is individually serial numbered because it's an authentic United States $2 bill. And then we have highlighted, we've colorized this, and then we've taken that, and then all of that, all the gold is 22 karat gold. Yes. Okay, all of the gold is 22 karat gold. I'm showing that because it's such a great look. But understand, you get each and every one of them in the individual, uh, in, yeah. in the individual holders. So if I buy five of the five pack, I'm gonna get five, five right. complete holders just like that and exactly. the same with the 10 pack. So, you know, the, the $2 bill is unique in itself just because we don't usually see it. Most of us have never actually used a $2 bill. Right. Um, and when you do, they do become collector's items in themselves. They don't even make them for circulation anymore. They they're they're, they're really a collector's item and yeah. then we've made them kind of even more collectible, even more desirable and, and, and all as well. Absolutely. Stay on the phone for those. I knew that we do have to move on, but you can continue to order as long as we have those available. So, uh, uh, we are going to share, since we were talking about, you know, presidents, presidents elect and things of that nature, we've got the presidential dollar set coming All up. Of That's them. a big one. All yes. of them. Yes. And then I've got the box in there too, and I, I was looking at that. Uh, I think the box is like 99 bucks or something like that. It might wow. even be more than that. For the box alone, the empty you box. get <laughs> the empty box. Yeah. For 2 dollars you get every Philadelphia and Denver Minute presidential dollar from George Washington all the way on to Ronald Reagan. That's yeah. the end of the collection. Mm -hmm. It is spectacular. It is very, very difficult to get. We'll get to that at the end of the show. Very limited. Okay. Stay on the phone for the uh, 22 karat. Mm -hmm. gold $2 bills. Extremely but we, popular. Absolutely. Definitely stay there. Hundreds but we do not have something a thousand else. sold on yeah. the individual, individual yeah. units. If you wanted to stick with <clears throat> coins, though, we do have the Donald Trump, again, 45th president, 24 karat gold plated coin and, 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 f and once again, a first. We've done the coin sets before with our patented colorization process, which is amazing and incredible, but we've, for the very first time, gold plated the coins underneath. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what we've done it and so this is what you get this is just the reverse okay. so this is one a set and this is a set okay. so once again one set 24.95 five sets 99.95 yeah. the 10 sets is kind of a weird deal mm -hmm. the best deals with five sets absolutely yeah so just buy two five just sets buy two just buy two five sets that's true <laughs> Thank I mean, you. It's Thank just, you for saying it's just the way it is. It's the way it went into the system, and there's yeah. just kind of no way to change it. Okay. So, in all honesty, the five set was underpriced. Oh. Okay. It's just the way it was. Hey, take, take advantage, advantage of, of it. it. <laughs> just yeah. the way it is. Okay. Now, the coins that we've used. Each coin individually in an individual holder to guarantee, uh, uh, it, you know, the fact that you can hold it. So we're using a Kennedy half dollar to start with because it's the only, <clears throat> the only United States coin that actually has the presidential seal on it. Mm. And so we've gold plated that. We've then taken the Indiana quarter for, of okay. course, Vice President Pence. Okay. Uh, and we've done that, gold plated. These are all authentic United States, sold out, limited edition United States government issue coins. Okay. And then, of course, for uh, President-elect Trump, we have the New York quarter. Okay. He is so intimately tied to, to the state of New York. Uh, uh, and so we've got those. So that's the reverse. Now, when you go up here, you see that we've taken each one of those and now done our patented colorization process on the front. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take these out of here and I'll put them back in in just a minute, just so I can show you. I want to show you, first of all, the box, which is fantastic. That's a steel case presentation box right there. I mean, you know, you can eat easily go out there and spend, you know, five or even $10 for a box of that quality. But then 
every one of the coins, as you can see right here, is in their own individual airtight holder. So you can take them out, you can present them, you can display them, you can share them, you can, uh, uh, you know, do your own history lesson however you want to do that. Uh, there's uh, uh, there's that one. There's uh, President-elect Trump that you're going to have, and underneath there, because it's colorized, you can see. George Washington, mm. looking over the entire proceeding. Mm -hmm. And there you're going to have uh, the Indiana coin with Vice President Pence that you're going to have there. Then you have, uh, uh, then you have the, uh, uh, once again, the New York Quarter, and there's another uh, President-elect Trump mm -hmm. that you're going to have. So that is the entire set, all in their own individual airtight holders, all in their own steel case presentation box. Put the entire thing uh, uh, together that you see right there, and you can have one set for $24.95. Right. Once again, five sets is absolutely, positively, 100% the way to go, it's and I'm sure value. the number one seller. Best value, you can even get the five sets on flex pay, so that means any major credit card you get three flex payments of $33.32. But you order this today, you'll have it in about a week or so, about a week to 10 days. Um, these are gonna come straight to your door. And it's however many you want. So, you know, some of you are just buying one set, but far and away, the five set is the most popular, both for the $2 bills that we were just featuring for you and now this. You know what would be really great too is to have both, to have the $2 bill collectible as well as the coin collectible because then you're covered and a lot of you are doing that which I think is a really smart decision do it today and I, you know I, I neglected to, to mention both of these are exclusive to HSN okay. so I mean so you can't get them anyplace else anyway yeah so uh, you might as well kind of own all of them uh, like I said extraordinarily popular the phones are extraordinarily busy mm -hmm. as well you can imagine it is just one of those things that I think is a uh, uh, you know we commemorate we commemorate and people say well you you know, you have uh, the President Trump coins. Look, I did the President Trump coins. Before that, I did the President Obama coins. And then the President Obama coins. I did the President Bush coins. Mm -hmm. I did the President Clinton coins. Oh. I did the President. So I've yeah. done this for every president for the last 25 years. And the thing is, you've done this for all presidents all the, we because we've got all of the other presidents coming <laughs> up, too. Right. But we've always done the commemorative presidential dollars as long as I have been doing this yeah. because it is such an important uh, American process, mm -hmm. this peaceful transition of power. And there's just people that have been commemorating it with me on television for over a quarter of a century now. And I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm proud of American democracy as we all are. And this is just one of the ways that we commemorate. That. Okay. So we will move on. You can stay on the phone. You can, if you, you know, have any questions, our customer service reps are happy, happy, happy to help you out. But far and away, the five set is the most popular. And um, this is the 2017 presidential inauguration day. Donald Trump is and will be the 45th president of the United States as of, uh, is it this afternoon? I think it's Not one o'clock. One o'clock, yeah. okay, um, in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And if you are buying any of the Donald Trump collectibles, it would be kind of cool to say you bought them on Inauguration Day. Now, you'll have them yeah. about in about a week, but you've got them on the day. Mm -hmm. All right. Very cool. And that's another look at the uh, item number for for the oh for the for the two dollar bills. This one we didn't have a full presentation of, but this is just the twenty four karat gold plated silver eagle. So it's an American silver eagle, so an ounce of pure silver, okay? An ounce of pure silver that said been plated in solid 24 karat gold. Then we've then put our unique colorization process in, in the box that you see right there, $59.95, $59.95. Very nice, and that would, would round out that collection. So the $2 bill, the four coin set, and then the silver eagle would round out that collection. And if you wanted to do it in right. one fell swoop to make sure that you got all of them, mm -hmm. then Again, you know how to order. You call us or you go to hsn.com and you can have yours coming. So since we were talking about the, um, the current president who is handing over power to the president-elect, we may as well talk about all the other presidents too. This you've probably seen on air. If you haven't had a chance to get it, the question is what are you waiting for? It is a fantastic set. It is the 2007 to 2016 uncirculated Philadelphia and Denver Mint presidential dollar set. You get them all 
and you get the collectible case that goes along with it. Yeah, which is in its own right uh, uh, virtually a piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. If we close this, hold up that end of it, mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a weigh, that's the better part of 10 pounds, wow. I would assume, something yeah. like that. That's a, a solid uh, solid wood frame, as you can see, uh, uh, just of the absolute highest quality. I, we may, I think we sell this individual on in hsn.com. I'm not 100% sure, but I know we'll check on that. Uh, what is it, 149? One, oh, I'm sorry, 149. Oh my gosh. There you go. For the box oh alone, 149.95 yeah. empty. Yeah. Okay, 149.95 empty. So basically for 150 bucks, mm -hmm. you get all the coins. <laughs> And as you can see, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39 presidents. Wow. P and D, $78. Because mm -hmm. these are golden dollars. Oh, my goodness. So you pay less than $2 a piece. Oh, wow. Less than $2 a piece for sold out limited edition United States government issue presidential dollars. And some of these are some of the single most difficult to get coins. Uh, I, I go out and try to find complete collections of the entire United States presidential dollar series. Folks, they're virtually impossible. I'm looking here in the nationally advertised catalog, the lowest price they have is three bucks a coin. That's for the Reagan coins that were just released. Okay. And they go up into the uh, almost $10 a coin range. Uh, they're going to average, it looks like, about four or five bucks a piece. Okay. Uh, and there's 78 of those, so at $5 a piece, that's 400 bucks with the case, 550 Wow. Uh, the most important part of this, though, however, isn't just that it's a great value. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that I have them. I cannot impress upon you, because you get two of every coin, because you get the Philadelphia minted coin, and you get the Denver minted coin. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of two sets in one. Yeah. But to be complete, to be in this, uh, I, mean, I mean, this is our ultimate exclusive, top of the line, best of the best. If you're gonna collect the presidents and house them as, as, as you know, in the, in the uh, uh, in, in the best possible way, mm -hmm. this is going to be that. Yeah, it and, is. And that's what we've got. In the style to which they've become accustomed, this is what you're looking at in our top quality case. And they're every one of them. The United States government started the presidential dollar series in 2007. Mm -hmm. They made four coins per year until they finished just recently, just this year or last year, 2016, mm -hmm. they finished with President Reagan. Okay. Okay? okay, the last president. Because by law, to become, to get on the presidential dollar, mm -hmm. you have to be deceased. Yes. So that's why they ended with President, uh, with president Reagan, okay. uh, uh, is what they did. That's and right. so this is the complete set of presidential dollars. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's that same composition. Remember, we're selling the pattern coins? Yeah. This was the same composition that they used for the presidential dollars. Oh. So those were instrumental in creating the composition. This is manganese and brass, so brass being copper and nickel. Uh, is what you're going to have. And so every one of these and this set is absolutely complete. So we see this. Now, if we go to the wall behind us, I've taken out all of the sets that you get in there and I've put them up on the wall to show you just... I mean, it's spectacular what you get. Not only do you get every president, and by the way, gem, brilliant, uncirculated. Every coin, gem, brilliant, uncirculated, never released into circulation. Now, for the first coins, 2007, 2008, that's kind of a thing because they were released into circulation. Starting in 2009, the government really didn't release these heavily into circulation. Mm -hmm. So they're very, yeah. very difficult to get. <clears throat> you could not get them. They were not available at the post office or in the general stream of commerce. So you couldn't get just a single coin. You had to buy them in rolls. Okay. So if you were basically wanting something like this, mm -hmm then you would have to go uh, and buy a roll. So you'd have to spend over $50 to get each president. Okay. Now, the government sold little two-coin sets of these in a little piece of uh, uh, cardboard. Yeah. And I believe they were between $14.95 in 1995. So if you would have done the government part of this without the box, so you buy our box for 149, yeah. then you go to 39 presidents, oh you're going to spend goodness. you're going to spend about $450. You'd spend $600 if you would have bought these coins directly from the United States government oh in their two-coin uh, uh, presentation set. Yeah. The key is once again, <clears throat> every coin represented, mm -hmm. absolutely gem brilliant uncirculated. Mm -hmm. Every Philadelphia mint, every Denver mint, it is 100% complete and it comes with 
the fantastic, I know this is a $150 box, this comes with your collection at $150 value. Absolutely, and I'm glad to see you're <coughs> taking advantage of this set. This, this is one that we featured in the past, and it's always very popular. And, I, I, you know, Mike does have another show later on this evening, starting at 7 o'clock, I believe. And I know that this is going to be something that is highly sought after then. It always is. If you don't have this set, and I know that many of you do, and I and really appreciate it and really, uh, you know, appreciate everything that it brings to you. But if you don't yet, and you want it, and you've had your eye on it, and, you're, and you understand how trying to put it together on your own would be very, very difficult and very costly. You can spend this on gas. On, yeah. <laughs> Dri yeah. Driving around. Driving around, for sure. But now, what Mike has already done it for you. And it is a complete set from start, from one to 39. Mm -hmm. Every every set. coin that's ever been released, yeah. Philadelphia and Denver Mint is included in this collection. And what a day to celebrate the American president on inauguration day. Mm -hmm. uh, just one of these uh, incredible times in American history. And then with these custom presentation cases so that you can see each coin, Gem Brilliant Uncirculated, Philadelphia Mint and Denver Mint with the history of each president. So each one is encased and protected for generations to come. It is just one of those incredible opportunities that we just don't have very often. Every single one of the presidential dollars with one single phone call. This is tangible history. And if you're going to be, uh, you know, glued in front of your television all day today, you're going to hear a lot about history. Mm -hmm. You're going to hear a lot about Washington, D.C. And, and, you know, they really kind of do, you know, many of the news uh, stations do a lot of historical uh, reporting. Wouldn't it be great if you are reminiscing yourself or maybe teaching your kids to have something tangible to right. then be able to follow up and pull out and share with them? This is available. Glad that you're loving it. It's 513-348. That's the number to get that full set home. And quickly, this is how we, um, this is one of our early items that we started off the show with that many of you uh, have been looking for. This is the patterned coin that we've only had maybe one other mm -hmm. in 15 years. <laughs> you want to talk about rare, I would say that that's rare. So yeah, uh, like I said, less than two dozen of each one of these coins in existence. And what they did is they were testing the composition of the coins. So in other words, uh, 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 as they did the Sacagawea golden dollar and then the presidential dollars, they wanted to make sure that they had the highest quality composition. In other words, what was it made out of, these golden dollars, this brand new dollar? And so they struck these coins, put Martha Washington on them to uh, uh, be able to test these to see what was the absolute best. There's no other place, I think, on the planet that you can buy these. It's an absolutely uh, unique opportunity, less than two dozen of these in existence, not right. just that, that we we have we don't we don't we have fewer than those but in existence the rarity of this unprecedented in virtually anything that we've ever been able to present quick question on that one i know we're going to move mm -hmm. on but that was just a test coin with martha washington are there any other coins test or not that had a first lady on them uh, well, the first spouse coins were made in gold, solid gold, that okay. the United States government made in concurrence with the presidential dollars. They made a first spouse coin for every one of the presidents wow. uh, in solid gold. Wow. Okay. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Historical. All right. Let's move on. You can see this. Uh, another uh, uh, 2016. Uh, this one is your first day of issue, limited edition, proof satin silver eagle set. And... Um, I know that we don't have a lot of time here, but we are going to give it... Well, this is going to be, I, I think, that today will be the last pre and final presentation of these. Oh, wow. <clears throat> it, it is ultimately what it comes down to, particularly with the big show that I have tonight. Yeah. Uh, there, as you can see, there's 744, is that correct? Uh, I can't read the... Uh, what, the, the limited oh, edition on that. A seven, anyway, seven, uh, I'm sorry, 730. 730. Mm -hmm. We're down to 300. I had one prior presentation on this. We sold over 400. I've only, I'm down to the final 300 pairs. And, and, and we had, individually, we had this coin, 2,600 of this coin sold it out in a single day. Oh 2,600 individually. As a pair, we've got 730. Okay. Now, let me explain to you what we have here. Last year, the United States government made three silver eagles. They made the regular mint state coin. That's the bullion coin. They made the proof coin, as they have virtually every year since 1986. They made the satin finish coin, which they've done most years since 2006. Last year was the 30th anniversary of the American Silver Eagle. To celebrate that, instead of making a special reverse proof coin or something like that, they took these coins 
and they labeled the edge, they edge lettered these where it says 30th anniversary. Mm -hmm. They've never done this before. I don't believe they'll ever do it again. They did a 10th anniversary American Silver Eagle set. That set in this condition today, I think the last one we sold here on the air was $30,000, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> uh, somewhere right around there. Uh, actually, that's not true. The Silver Eagle alone sold for $30,000. And all it had was, a, it was a proof Silver Eagle with a West Point mint mark on it. Made 31,000 of those. Uh, and we sold that for 30,000 bucks. They did a 20th anniversary set. Okay. okay where they, uh, they had in that a reverse proof American Silver Eagle, that single, 20th anniversary American Silver Eagle in this condition, I think we sell for about $1,000 or $1,100. Okay, they did a 25th anniversary. They did 100,000 of that coin, okay? They did that coin and it also was reverse proof, just a different design. We sell that coin for about $1,100 or $1,200. This, we have both of these coins. Now the mintage on this coin is several hundred thousand. This one's about 100,000, about what the 25th anniversary is, but, it's a 30th anniversary, and they both have 30th anniversary on the edge. Okay. The only proof American Silver Eagle with a 30th anniversary or edge lettering of any kind, let alone 30th anniversary, and the same thing with the SP coin. As a pair, not 30,000 or 1,100 or 1,200 a coin, but 329 for the pair. Hmm. Now, here's the amazing part of this to me. Is, is the rarity of this. This coin right here, and this is, I think, the star of the collection. I should probably be selling this coin for 329. This is one of the great fall between the cracks coins that I've ever been able to sell. And what I mean is this. Traditionally, the United States government releases the Proof Eagle and the Satin Finish Eagle in the first half or first quarter of the year. Sometimes the Proof Eagle is released the first couple of weeks of, of January. This, week, this year it'll be probably February, March, who knows. Same thing with this. Because of all the things they did last year, like the gold set mm -hmm. that they just had, remember that we just sold that first item in the show with the gold mercury and the gold walker and the gold. Yeah. They did not release this coin. This coin wasn't released till November. This coin wasn't released until late December. Oh my goodness. It has never been released later in the year. Because of that, everybody was doing a lot of other coin stuff. They're preparing for the 2017. Yeah. They were preparing for the holidays. They simply didn't buy that many of these coins, and these are made to order. In other words, the government only oh. makes as many as they sell. Okay. And it makes it one of the single rarest American silver eagles that the United States government has ever made, even though it is fantastically collectible and desirable because of the 30th anniversary edge lettering on it. That was only last year and last year only. This coin is an amazing standalone coin. And it has both the proof coin and the satin finish coin, both have got that 30th uh, anniversary edge lettering. There is no other 20th, 25th anniversary, 10th anniversary, 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary set that I can sell you for less than $1,000. Each one of those has one unique American Silver Eagle. This one has got two unique American Silver Eagles that are one year only designed, not for 30,000, not for 1,500 or 1,200, but for $329.95. Hence, a tremendously collectible, desirable uh, a coin set is what we've got here. And like I said, quite likely the last day I will have this available. That's right. 730 match numbered pairs available exclusively from us here at HSN. We with everybody on the phone, we're down to yeah. the last 20 dozen or so, yeah. is my guess. I, I strongly suspect that this will be completely and totally sold out today. Agreed. This coin as an individual, already sold out in a single day. Yeah. In a single day, in an edition that this is four or five times rarer than the single edition of this particular coin. So, incredible opportunity for you to put away what I find to be, and they're absolutely, totally, completely unique American coins. They are unique American coins in every respect with a 30th anniversary edge lettering. The only satin finish with edge lettering, the only proof coin with edge lettering, plus their 30th anniversary as a pair. The only <clears throat> one of the anniversary American Silver Eagle sets that I can sell you for less than $1,000 and let alone $329. And, and
And uh, but that's um, going to all go away at the end of this day, very I likely, so, because yeah. these are so limited. Um, you can definitely stay on the phone for those, and I, I am glad to see that you are recognizing the, the need to go ahead and add that to your collection. Um, that one is five three four zero nine one. We are going to move straight on, and I promised you at the beginning of the show we had a lot of variety and a lot to get to. This is brand new. This is the 2017 um, Mint State 70, first day of issue, limited edition of $119, $50 gold buffalo coin. First time that you're seeing this one, it is brand new. And it's really beautiful. Well, it's the 2070. It's the only 24 karat gold coin that the United States government makes. We sell this out every single solitary year. The Buffalo coin is, is amazingly popular, tremendously popular, uh, ridiculously popular uh, <laughs> uh, on this. It will probably sell out tonight. Uh, we're just going to do uh, uh, relatively uh, quickly on this. I got to, because I have one other coin I really, really, really want to get to okay. uh, uh, with that. Uh, so, this coin has been traditionally released since 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the, um, it's the, it's the American Buffalo. It's the only 24 karat gold coin made by the United States government. This is the 2017 version in mint state 70 perfect. Uh, it is exclusive first day of issue. Annex, of course, is exclusive to us here at HSN. <clears throat> there are only 119 of these match number, uh, of this of this numbered coin that is uh, uh, available for worldwide distribution. And of course, we have got all of them, which means that $21.99.95 is the absolute best price you can pay because it's the only price you can pay. <laughs> uh, one ounce pure 24 karat gold <clears throat> contained within this coin. You may recognize this design. It is that most popular of designs that is, was the originally the Buffalo Nickel made by the United States government starting in 1913, designed by James Earl Frazier. It is w probably the most iconic design ever placed onto a United States coin. The front of this is a composite of, I think it was seven different uh, uh, Indian models that Fraser used at the turn of the century to come up with that, and it is iconically, uniquely, and tremendously American. The reverse is, of course, a buffalo, that unique uh, North American mammal uh, uh, that is the symbolism, uh, the, uh, the symbol of the American Old West. That is actually a specific buffalo. That's, uh, his name was Black Diamond. He was at the New York Zoological Societal Society uh, at the turn of the century, and James Frazier uh, actually used him as the model for that. Uh, interestingly, uh, uh, and understand, so this was, you know, this was like 19... 11, 1912. Shortly thereafter, and he was, he was a beloved attraction at the New York Zoological Society. And like I said, being a different time, when he finally, he passed away, as a commemorative and as a, uh, to raise money, they had a commemorative dinner for uh, uh, Black Diamond, and uh -oh. he was actually served <gasps> at the dinner. No! <laughs> Seriously. It was a different time. You just don't waste. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, my God. That's horrible. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just a different time. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <What the> coins, <laughs> coins mark different periods in history. You are what? truly I, I just am, horrified I, by that. It is, it is horrifying. Could you imagine going to the dinner and <laughs> no, you, they, they they probably have a picture of them framed? Yes, and, exactly. And they said, this piece, come on like? them. Yes. I mean, oh. it wasn't serendipitously that they did this. It was right out front. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, Gosh. I mean, you have to understand we were a rural society. Well, I yeah, mean, you know, that's true. You, you know, yeah. a lot of the animals around you ended up on, on the dinner table. Well, it was no yeah. different. I mean, it was no different. Like I said, 19, <laughs> that was like 1912 or 13 uh, by the time that happened. God, so, could you imagine? Yeah, I know. So, uh, uh, but, but once again, an interesting aside in history that marks what this coin's, uh, what this coin's all about. I know, I think that's, I find that one of the most they fascinating could, things. They could have served <laughs> chicken. Yeah, they could have. They could have. They could have served chicken, but they didn't. So, you, know, you want the chicken or the buffalo? <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, yeah. I'm sorry. See, <laughs> I, it's me. I apologize. Yeah, I just, I'm picturing it. But yeah, yeah. Right. but you know what? That's what I said. It's history. I always say I learn something new case. every time. That's, that, that's right. <laughs> Some things perhaps you didn't want to know. That's true. <laughs>
But the fact of the matter is, always one of our most popular coins that we do, done in 24 karat gold, also unique. So you have this, this numismatic treasure and literally a very unique piece of American history is, uh, uh, is commemorated on this coin uh, with the, uh, 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 like I said, this is a composite of about seven different models that James Frazier used to do that. This is the brand new 2017, just released, done in 24 karat gold, mm -hmm. like I said, with the red oak presentation box. Mm -hmm. Tremendous tremendously popular already. We have people yeah. buying multiples of these, as is always the case. Yeah. This is almost always a one-day sellout, yeah. and particularly when I have a primetime show. Mm -hmm. So quite likely for uh, this evening to be a complete and total sellout of this coin that you're going to have here. So uh, a great opportunity for you to get this. Remember, Mint State 70, certified absolutely positively perfect with the Red Oak presentation box, exclusive to us here at HSN, yeah. only 119 for worldwide distribution. This is your time to get it. We've been talking about Mike does have another show this evening. It is a primetime show. It's, it's a two-hour show as well um, because we just wanted to give you enough time and give it enough time for, for you to see everything but when we have very limited pieces like 119 mm -hmm. you know that they're not gonna last um, the day so uh, if, if this is if that's what you had your eye on I suggest you go ahead and order and then still tune in at 7 p.m. to see that the two-hour show we've got is this our last our last, last item, item? Yeah, we're only got four minutes left here oh my goodness okay check out this coin oh wow Okay. This is probably one of the single most storied coins. If you talk to someone who's never collected coins in life, never done anything like that, yeah. the one coin that they always remember is the 1909 VDB. Okay? Okay. Uh, and particularly the 1909 SVDB, a okay. uh, United States coin, one of the most storied of all American coins. This is the very first year of the Lincoln cent. Hmm. This is an original Lincoln cent. Mm -hmm that you're going to see right here from 1909. So this coin over 100 years old. Now, if you look at this, this coin has been certified. Look at this coin, Mint State 64. Not just uncirculated, not just brilliant uncirculated, but choice brilliant uncirculated. Now, even more important, okay, is the red designation. Yeah. Because as, as cents, pennies, get yeah. older, yeah. they tend to turn kind of brownish. Mm -hmm. And so the designation in certification is either red or brown. So RD or BRN. Okay. Red coins, because they're shinier, mm -hmm. are just more desirable from collectors. These have been certified original first uh, a first year of issue, 1909 VDB, Amazing. red, Mint State 64. Now, for those of you that are interested, the VDB, which they removed uh, after 1909, if we get in close in the middle of this, right between the weed ears, down there at the bottom, uh -huh. is VDB. Now, people are going, what does that stand for? That stands for the designer. He put his own initials on the coin. Oh. And they thought that was relatively bold and not nearly humble enough. Remember, 1909, it's a it's, different it's, time. That's right. You shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be that flashy. That's true. And okay. so they made him remove his initials, and right there they are at the bottom of the coin, VDB for Victor D. Brennan, uh, that, that designed the coin. So after this, they t as a matter of fact, it was taken away during 1909. So it was only during the first part of it. They, the people were literally outraged by this. Yeah. Uh, I, at this. Now, if this coin has an S on it, in this condition, it's probably a fifteen or twenty thousand dollar coin. Your opportunity, your opportunity to own one of the great American coins, one of the great American, the longest lived American coin over, going strong, well over a hundred years now Still for the Lincoln cent mm -hmm. uh, uh, that you're going to have. This is the old weedy uh, wheat cents that are uh, fifty five years ago. They made the last one. So this coin, literally a hundred, well over a hundred years old, an original, uh, a choice, brilliant, uncertain circulated condition, mm -hmm. Mint State 64 Red certified to be able to own this phenomenal piece of American history. Now this was done, okay, in 1909 uh, uh, originally, so just this, uh, uh, to have a coin in this condition certified, and once again, in the sense to have it certified red means this thing had to have been in a roll.
role in its own original role for probably at least a hundred years. So it was protected. Someone put it, it was protected in a bank vault because any degree of this being out in the elements would have turned this coin. Of course, it was never <laughs> circulated, uh, uh, but would have turned this coin kind of brown. Yeah. Uh, uh, like looked like an Indian head scent or something like that. Right. So rare to see the red designation, which accounts for less than probably one hundredth of one percent wow. of the early uh, Lincoln scents are, wow. are designated red uh, with this. So extraordinarily difficult to find. And to be able to get this for $169.95 yeah. is a phenomenal piece of, of American history. Like I said, museum right. quality stuff yeah. we had here today. Absolutely. And you know what? It's going to stay that color because it's now it's in an airtight That's container. Right. So you've got it this fascinating to me. Aren't you, wouldn't you love to own this? Brand new. Um, are you going to be featuring this tonight? Probably so, yes. All right. Tonight at 7 p.m., a, a two-hour show with mm -hmm. Mike, uh, another coin collector show. If you saw anything now you want, go ahead and pick it up uh, while you can. We're going to check in with a quick spotlight with uh, Valerie and then come back for 10 faves. Thanks, Mike. HSN knows what you want when you need it. We make it easy with AutoShip. One click and get automatic delivery and locked in prices for beauty, skincare, snacks, even cleaning supplies. We also deliver a series of items on AutoShip like coin collections or seasonal craft kits. And with AutoShip Manager, you are in control of all your automatic deliveries. Just look for the AutoShip option on the product page or search AutoShip at hsn.com. Since 1939, HP has been an industry leader in technology, offering innovative, practical products at a great value. It's a tradition they carry on to this day. HP puts innovation at your